So Cole, um, last, last three weeks you had the same uh, starting five out there. Um, does it feel like this offensive line is gelling more than it ever has? Yeah, I mean, it, it just takes time. I mean, it's, that's all it is. It's reps at practice, game reps, um, everything else all just leads into everyone being cohesive. I mean, how, how hard has it been uh, really integrating those two two freshmen, you know, for a few weeks now? Um, I mean, they're... They know that we're going to hold them to a high standard, that we're not going to let them be freshmen. Um, so, I mean, Donovan took to that right when he got here in spring, uh, being with that part. Um, LD, it took him a little longer just because he hadn't been here as long. Um, but they know that they have to play at a high level, um, that they can't be the the weak link in the chain, that they have to be up playing with everybody else. Um, otherwise, we're not going to be a successful offense. Does it still kind of blow your mind that you came into the season thinking, you know, this is going to be a veteran group, you know, five seniors, one senior coming off the bench, and now you got two true freshmen starting on the line. That's pretty much unheard of in college football. Yeah, but, I mean, at the same time, it's we take a next man up approach. I mean, it's the same thing in the league. You're going to there's going to be different things that are going to happen. Um, and it's all a matter of how you deal with it um, and finding the good in it and finding a way to be successful. Is it surprised you have quickly learned? Not at all. I mean, Donovan picked everything up right when he got here. I mean, his first rep of one-on-ones in spring was against George and one. So from the start, he was been at a high level. And so it, it helps when you have guys that are want to play at that level. They want to be good. They want to play at the next level um, and are going to do everything in their power to get there. What does it do for the offense when Jaden can, can kind of scramble and then do those runs after if he can't find anything downfield? Keeps people honest. Um, I mean, you're not going to be able to drop eight guys downfield because now he's going to just put it away and run. Um, so it makes you have to cover accounts for him, whether you're going to drop a nose guard and just buy him, then you're going to only be able to rush with two, maybe three guys. Um, if you're going to drop a linebacker and sit him in, that's one less guy in coverage. Um, so it, it creates some holes in the back end, and if not up front, um, just different ways to try and take advantage of it. Did Cal put a spy on him towards the end of the game? Um, here and there. Okay. Um, a couple times with Evan, they'd walk him up and just let him sit there. Gotcha. Um, but, I mean, it was they just were trying to get as much as they could off the edge or um, – just keeping with play games and just doing different things. Um, I mean, that's the easiest way you can try and do it. I mean, it's not an easy task to keep someone who can run the way he does in a pocket. How much does continuity do for the offensive line? You're able to sit in the same position week after week. Now you get the same guys going out there. How much does that do for you? Um, it makes it easier because you, know, you understand how guys around you are going to play. Um, so having the feel of Alex, um, Donovan next to you every day at all practice. I mean, we're probably going through 200 snaps of practice, so that's 200 snaps every day. By the time you get to Saturday, you've gotten to the point where you know everyone how, you know exactly how everyone's going to take their steps, how everyone's going to think, um, certain looks, and you know exactly what they're going to be doing. You know, you know they were able to score three touchdowns against Cal. This is also a big breakout game in a way. Do you see any similarity between what he's been able to do breakout wise this year versus last year? Because it really did take up until Oregon State for him to have that massive game. You see some similarities? Yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of going out every week and being able to understand how defenses are going to come and attack us. Um, or, and it helps along with us being able to have more games that we can go and look at ways that people have uh, taken advantage of certain teams. Um, just, just so that we can do uh, different advantages. Do you guys do anything together as a unit? Herm's kind of talked about the naivety and kind of how these freshmen almost don't know any better that they're kind of playing in these big road environments. Have you kind of seen that as kind of a, a good thing to some extent with these guys? Yeah, I mean, in a way, it's kind of an advantage to us because I remember when I got here, I mean, Michelle can attend for this. I maybe played in front of a thousand people in high school. Or now you show up at practice over the summer or spring ball and you got a thousand people at practice. So um, <laughs> it's just one of those things you, it takes a while to get used to, um, especially if you're playing in a place that's you, or known to be loud. Um, they just don't think about it, they just go out and play. And it's kind of nice. Most of the guys on this line are either seniors or freshmen. What kind of dynamic is that? Um, um, it's just guys getting more comfortable in understanding the blocks. Um, again, just guys being in the same spot week after week, they can understand how they can use their body type, their play style to their advantage in the game. Um, and just being able to go out and start getting downhill, starting to get after guys. Um, and just be able to play physical downhill football. You talked about accounting for Jaden, but I mean, you guys, obviously, like you said, you're coming back to center, but you guys getting on the same page. I mean, how do you feel that communication between you guys is and how he's adapted to uh, to having you back at center? 
good. I mean, it's a little less off his plate now. Um, I mean, along with the rest of the line, they don't have to worry about everything. Um, they, it's even coach. She does. That. I mean, in the meetings, he's asking like, "Hey, what are you doing on this? What are you doing on that?" Um, um, and just ha making sure everyone else can give me the information that I need um, to paint a big picture in my head, so I can see the entire thing. Um, just and that helps Jaden too, because now he can understand how I'm going to take advantage of what the guys are doing, being able to see it, um, and know that he's comfortable to sit back there for as long as he needs to to uh, make good pass. There's times where he knows the coach and the line of scrimmage and talking with you. What's the difference between that and doing that and last year? Um, last year, I mean, Manny knew what the protections were, so it was easier for Manny because he could look up there and see and already knew what I was going to make a call on. Um, where Eno's doing that because maybe he may not hear um, a call or this or that, um, and just making sure we're all on the same page. Um, just because Manny before could look out there and knew exactly what I was going to do beforehand, um, and just go out and be able to tell Eno right back there that he knew where it was supposed to go. Um, and now it's just there's, they don't want to put so much on Jaden where he's overwhelmed on it. Um, and granted, he's stepping up, he's taking more on his plate, um, but still letting him just be able to go out there and not think so much to be able to go out and play.